Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of my movement guide. This part is going to cover evasive maneuvers and essentially everything you guys are going to need to know to more easily dodge projectiles such as fireballs or frost bolts uh, during your matches. So starting off, uh, in the background you guys should see me over in the free flight mode and right now I'm just kind of showcasing uh, the geysers. Now the geysers are really really nice because these give you back uh, stamina. Generally they give you back two stamina chunks if you hit the base of them and kind of go up and all the way through the length of them you're going to get around two maybe two and a little bit of stamina. So very nice way to regen stamina and stamina is key in order to be more mobile and thus dodge projectiles. So your stamina is really important that's why I'm showcasing these geysers because um, they do regenerate stamina very quickly. And another reason I'm showcasing these geysers is they're actually a really great way to dodge projectiles. So if you guys pay attention to how I'm going through the geyser, essentially how I fly into it, and I do basically a 180 going up, spinning somewhat into a circle, and then going back down, um, that is a really great way to dodge projectiles. Essentially, dodging projectiles, what you want to do is very similar to the movements I'm showing off here. Um, you want to essentially curve towards the indicators and then you're going to want to boost if possible um, and changing your elevation is key so if you're down low you're going to want to go up if you're up high you're going to want to go down low and if you're somewhere in between uh, you're going to want to go wherever you have the most room so something to keep in mind uh, now essentially i'm going to show you guys a couple clips here and through them you guys will see indicators pop up and these indicators essentially the bigger they are the farther away the projectile is going to be so as they get smaller that means the projectile is getting closer now there are some different colors to worry about with the indicators uh, you're going to have red which is your standard indicator which will indicate projectiles such as fireballs frost bolts all that sort of thing uh, another color you want to worry about is orange orange is going to stand for the hunter's mark uh, marking fireball so if you see an orange indicator, that is the little tracking fireball uh, that will put the Hunter's Mark debuff on you. So keep an eye out for that. And then finally, uh, white indicators. Now white indicators are originally red, and when they flash white, that means that you have successfully gotten out of the way and they're not going to hit you. So as you're moving towards the projectiles and you kind of boost past them, the colors should go from red uh, that should transition over to white um, and through a couple of these clips you guys should see that um, essentially you want to have either your left or your right shoulder facing the projectiles so if you were to stand still you would want the projectiles to hit your right or left shoulder or right or left wing at somewhat of an angle um, hopefully these clips are showcasing that properly for you guys and essentially whenever you see projectiles turn towards them, a boost, and if you can, either change your elevation uh, more up or more down. So either gain height or lose height. Uh, very, very important. Uh, changing your elevation can really help dodging projectiles. That's why the geysers are so good is because they change your elevation really quickly as well as give you back stamina. Uh, as boosting is really important, when getting away from projectiles so having a lot of stamina is important if you are caught without stamina it's going to be basically impossible to dodge any projectiles now another thing i want to mention is the wind tunnels now wind tunnels are great for dodging projectiles um, there are a couple on say the spoils of war map that are very short those ones aren't quite as good but they can still be effective uh, the long ones are really really nice such as the one on the hunavatan lake map uh, the one underneath the caverns is a very, very good example, and that's the one we're showcasing here. Uh, it's a very good example of a wind tunnel. If you have a bunch of projectiles on you and you happen to be near there, if you can get into the wind tunnel before they hit you and you are a little distance away from them, uh, generally you are going to be able to make it through there without them hitting you. So something I do on Spoils of War, for example, is I use the wind tunnels constantly, especially if I'm carrying an objective piece such as the jewel, or the key, or the vault breacher. I use the wind tunnels and the geysers constantly 
Um, also good to mention, the wind tunnels will also regenerate stamina. Most of them will give you all of your stamina back. Uh, a couple of the shorter ones, such as the couple on Spoils of War, uh, will only give back around two. But the majority of them will give back the entire stamina bar. So something to keep in mind if you need a bunch of stamina quickly and you're near one, you might be worth popping into one. Uh, essentially, that's pretty much it when it comes to dodging projectiles. Keep in mind the different colors of the indicators. Uh, know that the size of the indicator indicates the distance of the projectile. So the bigger the indicator, the farther away the projectile is going to be. And as you are dodging, if you are dodging correctly, the indicators will turn white, indicating that they're not going to hit you and they're no longer a threat. So all of this, and then also keep in mind that you should be tapping your brake key uh, when doing turning so that you can do sharp turns. Keeping all of that in mind, uh, hopefully this will help you in your matches dodge any projectiles that are coming your way. Uh, I really hope it helps. If it does help, make sure to give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, always consider subscribing. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.